you talk about a World Mountain People Association that groups mountain folk from 70 countries. I'd love it if you talk about that. Yeah, this is, who knew, right? I mean, there's not a desert person's world organization. There's not a swamp people's organization. There's not a forest people's organization, but there is a World Mountain People organization. And I stumbled upon this group, and I went and interviewed the president and some of the members, and it's incredible, like you, when you go to their meetings, there's a Sherpa sitting there, and then there's you know, somebody who plays the pipes from Bolivia, and next to them will be a guy, a Tuareg from Northern Africa, and they all feel this intense connection. They spend a lot of time complaining about um, central government, how it ignores them, but they just say that they see the world in a different way than we do as Flatlanders. And what really, you know, when I first started out the book, I was really worried about seeming like a, a, um, a, a geographic determinist, because that's kind of not considered PC. But at, by, after meeting these people, I mean, they were saying what geographic determinists say, which is that topography does affect your lifestyle and your outlook towards life. And they even go further than I would. They talk about a mountain personality. But, you know, they're saying it, not me. And they're, it's, it's just intriguing. And they meet every year. They, they visit each other's mountains. So this year it's going to be in Morocco. If anybody's in Morocco, go to, go to the Atlas Mountains, because the mountain people will be there, I think it's June.